Right, we're on. Today we're talking bounce on your wedge. What is bounce on your wedge? And how do you feel the bounce interacting with the turf? I'm going to give you a drill that's a foolproof way to ensure that you get the bounce on your wedge to interact correctly with the ground. This will improve your chipping and pitching. Your short game will be immaculate after this. If it's not, call me. But in all seriousness, today we're going to do that. We're going to make sure you understand bounce and can actually feel the bounce. How do you feel the bounce of your golf club working? It's a very tricky question, that. It's a very awkward one. Not many people can feel it. Not many people have experienced that. But today I'm going to show you exactly how you can do that, exactly how you can execute the shot and it's going to improve your short game. Right, I've got quite a high tariff shot here, I've got pin right hand side of the green, I've left myself maybe 40 yards or so, so it's not, not an easy one to get close, everything runs off down to the right, that's actually quite a good shot, I'm taking that one. <laughs> The wedge I used there has got 54 degrees of loft and 9 degrees of bounce. The angle between the back edge and the leading edge, that there, is 9 degrees. That's your bounce angle. But how did I get the bounce to work there? If I use the leading edge of the golf club, the leading edge, as opposed to the back edge, then it's going to dig in. The leading edge is going to dig in, and of course strike's going to be poor. And we don't do poor strikes in this channel. So to feel the bounce, grab two alignment canes. Place them in line with where you want to go. I've put them both together nice and tight and we're going to play a little couple of practice strokes and I want to feel the back edge of the golf club the back edge, not the front edge, but the back edge of the golf club striking the canes so the back edge of the golf club to strike the canes when I play the practice stroke now I set myself up, narrow stance, shaft straight up and down I'll just move this round for an example you can see there, this is perfect now then so you can see there there's gap underneath there because of the terrain that's, there's your bounce, there's the bounce, so I'm going to address that, shaft straight up and down, back, through, you can see the bounce, so I'm gaining the feeling of bounce, and I can feel the club move up and down with there, that is one element of bounce, it's not the bounce on the golf club, but hey, it's what the golf club's doing, look, it's bouncing, so again, set up, two canes together, lots of little swings, feel how the body turns, just a fraction, body turns, not massive, huge, long swing, just body turn, back of the club striking the canes. But I'm doing this in a way where the club shaft is at 90 degrees to the canes and back to that position at impact. And then I let the club head pass the hands. I let the club head pass the hands nice and gently. No effort required to ensure I get the club to bounce or the back of the club to bounce off the canes. And that is the sensation of bounce working. You'll feel the back edge of the club glide along the canes before it exits up and left. Now, once that sensation has been captured and you're sure it's not the leading edge that's touching the canes, you're good to go. Let's apply a golf ball now. So I've got my canes lined up with my target. I've moved them about a centimetre apart, enough to rest a golf ball in there using the dimple so it doesn't roll. And now I'm going to play the same shot. So I'm back and through, and I want the back of the club to strike the canes. Set myself up club on the canes, back of the club's already resting on the canes because the shaft's straight up and down, back, through, got the ball up, away, I'm running down towards the flag, back of the club struck the canes, this time a little bit longer swing, back, through, higher trajectory, back of the club bouncing, good shot, <laughs> it's like a little launch pad, it's like a mini launch pad, you know, it's giving you that kicker already, there's already a little head start if you like. Set myself up, I've got my head start, I'm back, back of the club strikes it, look at that. It's good isn't it? Now then, how do we take that on the golf course? Where are you going? Where are you off to? How do I take this motion onto the golf course? And play off the grass, now the trajectory is way up there because I've got that bouncing. I've got the feel for that, now I can put one to the side, I can take my practice swing, so this is you on the range, feeling what you're trying to do, there we go, capture the feeling, step up, same again, off the grass, good shot, go in, again, a ball ready to go, now you'll notice I never took a divot there because it was the back of the club that bruised the turf, if it was leading edge I would have taken a divot, there we go, Feel that, feel that, step up, play that, there we go, is that one going in? Go on, go on, ooh, again just bruise the turf, nice little bruise, 
steady now I'm going to go back to this motion just to feel trajectory goes up on this because there's more give felt good Oh, that's, that's a great strike. That's in. Ooh, I see. <laughs> you'll immediately feel the bounce. You'll feel how the club interacts with the canes. That is vital. It's instant feedback. That is then taken onto the grass. You get the same feedback. You could take a practice swing on the grass to get the feedback from the canes. So canes, grass, then ball. I just go straight on ball because I'm a weirdo. <laughs> Here we go. Back of the club. Boom. Ball's up and away. On the grass, exactly the same feeling. Boom. Ball's up and away. Is that going, is it? Oh, come on. So there we go. Feel that. Feel it. Feel it. Feel it. Step up. Play it. And you're good. You will be good. Guys, I hope that's helped your short game, giving you an understanding of how the bounce works on the golf club, giving you the feeling of how the bounce works on the golf club. So leave comments in the box below and let me know. Also subscribe to the channel, that's free of charge. Hit the bell notification for instant notifications of all my videos, that's free of charge. And hit the thumbs up button, that shares it around YouTube. I like that, YouTube likes that, the algorithm likes that, and who doesn't like a thumbs up? <laughs>